Hey everyone, okay, so today I realise that this is going to be a slightly sensitive topic for some people, so what I want to do is try and address it as maturely as possible and hopefully get that across to you without offending anybody. So you've probably all seen, I don't know how to kind of phrase it, you've probably all seen on Twitter the really big fuck off nose highlight that's going on at the moment. So what I want to do is make a little video on it and kind of give you my thoughts on it because it's such a strange... Um, is such a strange technique. Generally speaking, when you're highlighting somebody's face, when you're looking straight on, the only places that should really be noticeable of highlight when you're looking directly at somebody is the cupid's bow and the kind of tear duct area, if you highlight that. They tend to be visible from the front. When we turn to the side, the cheek highlight tends to pop, as does the um, eyebrow highlight. And when you place your head down and start to look down, the bridge of the nose highlight tends to become in focus, but when face on, nothing else tends to shine apart from here and the inner corner. Now, when you're contouring your nose, and what I'm going to do is in this description bar, in the very first link is on how to contour every single nose type, because there's so many. So you can check that out. But when you're contouring a your nose, you're tending to want to make it either thinner, narrower, or smaller, or both. And what we're seeing, particularly on Instagram, is where the highlight is sort of starts here at the bridge, comes all the way down and ends in this really big highlight at the tip of the nose. And approximately, probably 80% of people do not need to put the highlight right there. Now remember that anything that you highlight, that you, that you put a lighter color on or a shimmer on, will stand out. For most people, we do not want this area to be to stand out because it will make it look bigger. It makes it look more visible. And what we're seeing is this bit is really, it's not even like just lightly sort of graced. It is like the strongest highlight you've ever seen. And again, I need to reiterate, if you're trying to change the shape of your nose, chances are that this area should not be highlighted if you're trying to change the shape of it because you're drawing attention to something. And what can happen is you can create this really big highlight here that can look like a bulbous nose that really didn't exist before. So the way I tend to think about it, and remember that this little kind of highlight on the, the tip of the nose can look really beautiful on, on some faces, but for others it can distort and create a really big distraction where it looks just really extreme. So I'm going to take my, my brush, because they're mine, and this is number six, and I'm just going to show you what I would highlight for a nose like mine. So I would highlight right here, and that's the area here that I would highlight. I wouldn't bring it all the way down, and I certainly wouldn't kind of just touching the tip, just... <laughs> I love my tip being touched. Just touching it really lightly is one thing, but to really build up color there, to blind people is a very strange thing. Now, of course, this is just makeup, each their own, do whatever you like. This isn't a Bible. It's, you're free to do what you want. But I see it a lot, and I think it's a very, very strange one. Check out the video in the link, because that'll teach you how to contour a nose uh, and different nose shapes. But when you're highlighting your face, try and remember that anything you highlight is you're drawing attention to. So you would never want to draw attention to anything that you weren't already in love with, that isn't already a great feature on your face. So when I do a uh, tutorial and I do my eyes, I don't do my lower lashes. Why? Because there's hardly any there. And if I was to put mascara on them, I'd be drawing attention to the fact that there is fuck all hair there. And I don't want to do that. I want to make the most of what I've got so you highlight and apply to the areas of the face that are beautiful, that are really good on you. And that might be your lips, that might be your eyes, that might be your cheekbones, but we never want to draw attention to something that's not already great. So there you go. Let me know what your thoughts are. Please don't go mental. I'll read them down in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this technique and I look forward to reading them. See you all soon, bye-bye. Right. Look at that, fuck yeah. <laughs> that's actually like, really subtle <laughs> from some of the ones I've seen. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You're a pretty little thing, yeah. Sometimes I see people highlight with shimmer right here, and then it just looks like they've got a runny nose, which I think is really weird. Whoop, 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 whoop. Tip on point.
point. I'm gonna highlight the tip of my nose. Natural, pretty, first date, nose tip highlight. Mmm. This is actually quite subtle considering some of the pictures that I've been seeing lately. Look at that. Like a button nose. Mmm. Okay, so click it. You see this? Click my box. Now what how good an offer is that? That's it. Click my box. If you are suffering or have you know when you're applying your foundation and suddenly every single hair on your face stands on end, it makes your face look <clears throat> you know, much, no, no, really hairy and there's no need for it, then click this box, that's, that's me, and it will take you to a video where I explain how to lay down foundation so that the hair on your face lays down really, really smoothly. You know that peach kind of fuzzy hair? So it lays down smoothly and you don't end up looking like Chewbacca. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.